let your subconscious mind, let your muscle memory, and let your natural rhythm, right, take care of the little minute details and you focus on kind of what's coming next and how you need to be structuring your day and how you need to be using your time wisely. Get up, get up, everybody move! move. What's going on family? Soul Expression here, your Freedom Lifestyle Coach. And today, I want to talk to you guys about the power in relaxing. The power in your ability to just relax. You see, a lot of us unlearn the powers of relaxing as we're growing up. And there's some good reason for that, but also... Uh, we need to grow out of um, certain aspects of this this type of child child rearing because it actually is a hindrance more than anything. Um, the good reason why you know uh, or or the good intention behind getting children to unlearn the power of relaxing is that too much relaxing from the adult in the room could cause a lot of problems and uh, uh, imbalances in the way that ch the child behaves and in the way that uh, you know the child may get some misconceptions about the world around them if their immediate household and or you know where they spend their most the most of their time doesn't have some structure doesn't have some guidelines and boundaries and these good things, you know, like set times of day for certain activities. These these types of things are, are good, but what happens after a while is that the child learns, unlearns relaxing and just being here and enjoying life for the gift of life and learns how to always be in the process of over analysis either over planning or uh, you know worrying about the future or over analyzing the mistakes that they made in the past and trying to cope with that by you know either learning how to lie to themselves or how to um, make themselves look bigger by putting other people down all of these things are due to the inability to relax right um, or just being you know a lot of temper tantrums and things like that like I used to experience a lot of temper tantrums and um, put my eyes a little higher so I don't look so short in the camera <laughs> but I used to have a lot of temper tantrums and, and whatnot and so I, I know that that form of it and, and basically there's three ways that I want to talk about relaxation here one is Relax while you relax. Okay, relax while you relax. That means don't basically do, you know, a whole, whole lot of work and then right before it's time to go to sleep is when you stop working and then you just immediately pass out and then immediately when you wake up, you, you get back to intense work and using a lot of force and whatnot. Um, hard work is, is great. It's a great attribute to work hard, but it's a better attribute to balance hard work with real relaxation. And uh, if you're not always working physically and doing some sort of hard physical labor as your work and you're doing it, then most of us have the habit of when we sit down to relax, we get into over analysis. We get into a mode where we're analyzing everything from the past to the future to what might happen uh, a few moments from now in, in, in the present, you know, in the present, uh, what we call the present, which is really not the present. There's absolutely no problems whatsoever in the real present moment, only thoughts. But um, anyway, you know, what we call the present moment and, and the especially dwelling on the past. So how to learn to relax while you relax well first you have to get into the habit of relaxing on purpose right don't just go through life drifting here and drifting over there as the wind pushes you and never decide to do something set aside some time in your day to relax on purpose with purpose and know with the power of faith 
that when you relax on purpose, with purpose, that you are building strength in your mental and emotional uh, uh, you know, capacities and in your stability in your emotions. You're building strength in that stable uh, peace of mind. And also when you relax, uh, you know, when you, when you take time to let your body physically relax, you're also um, like helping regulate your blood flow, helping regulate your heart rate, helping regulate your breathing. Um, all of these vital things that uh, years and years of misuse can lead to horrible disease and like torturous situations that we really want to avoid. And we're knowing more and more, you know, science or, or the medical industry is reporting more and more how much just regularly relaxing your body and allowing your blood flow, your breathing, and other things to recalibrate and relax, right, is, is helpful in preventive care, you know, prevent, prevention from stress-based illnesses, um, or, or should I say, you can have it within your body and your immune system would immediately take care of it, but because your immune system is trying to fight off or regulate from all the cortisol that's in your system because of all the stress that you give yourself every single day, that it's not able to fight it off and the disease runs rampant or the dis-ease uh, uh, from the illness just expands and expands until you finally do get rid of it. So. You know, learning how to relax while you relax. Now, what has helped me on the journey to relax while I relax is being able to not play electronic devices uh, to fill empty space, being able to observe my mental space without calling it, I'm thinking this, right? I used to get so frustrated when I would experience thoughts that I didn't want to be thinking. Thoughts of anger, thoughts of lies that I told people. I used to lie a lot. Um, thoughts that of, of things that I just, I didn't want to be thinking these thoughts. I didn't want to face myself. I didn't want to look at my negative attributes and the things that I wanted to change about myself directly. I wanted to, like I kind of knew about them and I knew that I had these traits that I wanted to change about myself by the time I really became a man. But I didn't want to face those things directly. And I knew that if I was to be in silence and I wouldn't have a TV on or a video game playing or my cell phone or be talking to somebody or talking to somebody in person, and I was just going to be in a quiet space, that I would have to face these things. And so building up the courage to being able to face your dark side, right? Or just face thoughts that you might not necessarily want to think and giving, giving yourself love, right? Being patient with yourself, being encouraging to yourself, to yourself, <laughs> really. Um, you know, telling yourself it'll all be okay. These things really helped me be able to go from looking like I'm relaxing and actually being in over analysis to actually relaxing while I relax. Now the next, the next two um, things in regards to relaxing that I want to touch in this video are relax while you work and relax while you play. Relaxing while you work, it doesn't necessarily only mean at your job, but definitely I'm, I'm talking about your job as well. But even when you're doing work, let's say you help a family member, you know, build something uh, around their space or, or you're, you're doing some sort of work like that, that too is included. And how you relax while you work is by learning to get in a flow state. Learning the importance of being present with what you're doing, but not being so caught up in the minute details um, unless you're just learning how to do something. But if this is your job and you've been working at your job for a number of years or even months, then you probably got the basics down already. So not being so laser focused on the minute details, but also being able to just let your subconscious mind, let your muscle memory, and let your natural rhythm, right, take care of the little minute details and you focus on kind of what's coming next and how you need to be structuring your day and how you need to be using your time wisely. That is kind of how you learn to relax into a flow state while you're doing your work. 
Now the flow state is not something that you'll be able to grab and hold physically in, within your being and make it happen. But sooner or later with practice, you will be able to kind of flip the switch and it'll be on and you'll be in your flow state. If you know anybody that plays video games often or is a pretty good athlete or even a good meditator, um, and you can have a conversation with them about what is it like when you're in your zone, then that conversation may enlighten you into things that you have felt yourself when you may have been in a flow state, even if it wasn't necessarily at work. And you can use that information that you discover from your own inner voice and from the conversations that you have with people that must use the flow state in order to get good. Like an athlete has to learn how to be in flow state if they want to be successful. Uh, or even just if they want to be good at their sport, right? They, they have to learn how to let their subconscious mind and their muscle memory handle a lot of the minute details and they just guide their energy where they're going. That's how you stay in flow. What you're guiding is where your energy is going, but you're not trying to be very, I don't know how to call it, meticulous with every little minute detail about yourself. <laughs> Make sense? Awesome. So, and then another thing is relax while you play. A lot of times when we're playing, we're thinking about, am I wasting time? How much time have I been, you know, doing this recreation? How many days of this week have I given to recreation? How much should I... And we're over, we're in the over, anal, over analysis in our minds, and we're not in the present moment, right? But if you can enjoy yourself, I talked about this a couple videos again uh, ago. Enjoy yourself, right? That means not what you will be doing, not what you hope to be later in life, and not what you were yesterday or even five minutes from now. If you can enjoy yourself as is right here, right now, then you can relax into the present moment and you can relax while you play. And you can relax while you relax for that matter, right? So, so that's, that's, the, that's the tips I got for you guys today is learn to relax, right? Relax while you relax. Don't sit down to relax or get on your couch to relax and you know flip on the TV and just go mindless to where you're not even relaxing, but you're, you're consuming and eating all of this information. But just simply, you know, take some time to first of all, relax on purpose, with purpose and just learn, try to find your off switch for all the incessant thoughts, the, the, the thoughts that just don't want to stop and cease. Uh, find that off switch. There is always more space within you than there is activity, okay? There's always more inner space than there is mental or emotional activity. That means you can, you can from a deeper place, watch what your mental and emotional activity is at the current moment. Like if somebody that you trust were to stop you for a second from talking and say, hey, how do you feel? Then since you trust them, right? If, it, if it's not somebody you would automatically push away, but you felt that you can trust them and maybe they see something that you don't see and you took a second to think and, and analyze how you felt, not with over analysis, just regular <laughs> analysis, um, then you could see that, oh, okay, so I can see how I feel from a place that's a little bit deeper than how I feel right now or how, I, how I'm thinking, right? And you can watch your thoughts with the same, from the same kind of deeper place within. Well, that deeper place is infinite. There's an infinite amount of space. Even if you're getting like a tsunami of thoughts and these thoughts and feelings even, they just won't leave you alone and they're just playing and they're getting louder and more intense and more intense. You see that happening. That is seen from a place that's deeper within, which is infinite. And you don't have to be all super duper spiritual to know this place and to use this place wisely. So, so yeah, from a deeper place, learn to observe your thoughts without calling them, this is my thoughts, these are my feelings all the time. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're felt and heard inside of your being, but they actually came from somebody else, from a movie, from 
uh, a bunch of repeated experiences that that really it's it's how they think but they're kind of influencing you a little bit so so yeah so uh, basic point is learn to relax while you relax relax on purpose and then also relax while you work don't allow the many tasks to always get you frustrated or to always make you um, worried about if you're going to be able to get it done. Just relax. Do what you can right now in a flow state. And by the time you turn around, three hours will have passed and you will have gotten more than three hours worth of work done because you were in flow, you were relaxed, yet you were alert. You weren't going to sleep. Okay, and then relax while you play. Don't be playing worried about if you're playing too much, right? If you're going to play, then play. If you don't have time to play, then set aside later time to play. And for right now, do what you must do. But, you know, be in a position where you can make that decision for yourself. Okay, and so, uh, so yeah, this is, this is my message for, for us all today. Let's learn to relax. Learn to relax while you relax. Learn to relax while you work and relax while you play. Much love, everybody. Again, my name is Soul Expression. I'm your Freedom Lifestyle Coach. Um, I'm also a meditation coach. If you're interested in any type of coaching, then you can hit me up uh, from one of the links below, uh, either Facebook or Instagram, and I will be happy to connect with you. Peace and love, y'all. So if you're new to Ufulu Child, make sure you subscribe to get more Mind Mastery content dropped straight into your YouTube feed. If you enjoyed today's episode of Get Your Mind Right, let me know by clicking that like button, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Peace and love.